Right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking at this hour, where U.S. President Donald Trump celebrated his first Diwali at the White House, and Indian-American businessman Shalab Kumar and his daughter Manaswi were present at the Oval Office to celebrate the Festival of Lights with him. Now, they now join us to talk about their experience of celebrating Deepavali in the White House with Donald Trump. So Shalab Kumar and also his daughter Manaswi join us. So let me start with you, Manaswi. Tell us more about your experience of celebrating Deepavali at the Oval Office. First of all, I want to uh, tell all your viewers Happy Diwali. And uh, this was actually the first anniversary, in a way, of the first rally that we did with President Trump last year on 15th October in New Jersey. Uh, so uh, it was nice because this has been one year and RHC has come a long way since then. Uh, and then we've achieved a lot. So uh, despite of a very busy schedule at the White House, uh, you know, um, we were kind of going back and forth as to, you know, uh, because, you know, Eve got cancelled at the White House because they were very busy. So we kind of going back and forth as to when to do this, how to do this. And there was, a, there was a time when it was so busy mm -hmm. that they thought that the first lady will do the Diwali and the okay. president might not be available. Uh, uh, and we were going back and forth. We were going back and forth with Newt Gingrich. We were going back and forth with Orrin Hatch and, you know, um, mm -hmm. Senator uh, Reich and Wolfox, Pete Sessions. There were like a whole bunch of people involved. And mm -hmm. Jared himself. And Jared got involved as okay. well. Uh, so finally, because president wanted to do it because, you know, he... He really, uh, you know, is attached to our community uh, mm -hmm. and he really likes India and our Prime Minister. He said that in his speech as well. So we made it happen. Uh, and it was so last minute. So we had given him, them dates between 17th to 21st, which is like five days of Diwali. And they said, pick any date. So they finally picked 17th, which was Tuesday uh, at 3.15. And uh, we got to know this. This is Tuesday, and we got to know this on Friday. <laughs> so you can imagine. <laughs> and in five days, you have to get clearance from like Secret Service. You have to make all the arrangements, you know. And it's a it's a huge thing, you know. So it was five days. We all were like in this frenzy as to what to do, what dia to get, what cloth to get, what like you know how to make this happen, how many people, uh, how big or small. So you know, um, it was very very interesting but it was like a frenzy for five days but also tell us a bit more about what your interactions were like with the president and ivanka trump but also nikki haley was also present there and also some of the other indian americans were present at this diwali bash in the oval office yeah actually i've met ivanka on a couple of occasions so the first person who i actually greeted and I actually met was ivanka and, uh, you know, um, I think we have like a really good connection. She's going to Hyderabad. And in fact, we were talking about that, you know, uh, unfortunately, I have some work here, so I might not be able to go. We're, we're looking into that, actually. So, um, you know, and there is this whole in India, the whole, you know, me and Pops are regarded as Ivanka and Trump. Like, you know, so they, uh, there was this interview with Barkhanat that we'd done, which she called me Indian Ivanka. So she knows that also. So, you know, we got along. Right. That was the first person that I interacted with in the Oval Office. And then Nikki Hedy was there. And then I met, you know, the other people as well. Mm -hmm. uh, there was Seema Varma, there was Ajit Pai. Um, and uh, so this was the, the interaction. Pops, who did you interact with? Well, I interacted with mostly the uh, president. <laughs> so, yeah, one thing which is uh, it's a good question you asked uh, mm -hmm. on the uh, Facebook video is about three minutes. Mm -hmm. The total time we spent with the president uh, in the, let's say, the ceremony uh, wise, it was about 30 to 45 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, uh, as far as the ceremony is concerned. And right. then he spent another uh, 30 to 40 minutes uh, privately with the Kumar family. So it was, it was a long interaction. Absolutely indeed. And Mr. Shalab Kumar, you know, you are a Republican yourself and have been very closely looking at India U.S. relations and also looking out for the Indian community there within the United States. So in this, you know, a sort of an informal interaction during the Deepavali celebrations in the White House. Tell us, what did you discuss with Donald Trump? Actually, 
uh, president actually, you know, made time, like he rescheduled a couple of things so he could have like those 30 minutes with us in the Oval Office. So it was me, General Kelly, Vikram, my brother and Pop. So we were like, we had like a 30 minute private meeting and we, we were chatting about all sorts of things. There was like serious topics mm -hmm. like, you know, Pakistan and China and policies. And then there were also like lighter topics like, you know, what me and Vikram are doing in life. Right. And, uh, you know, what we want to do uh, in future. And he actually signed like personal uh, notes for all of us. Uh, you know, uh, is, is they have a very clear view. Mm -hmm. They have a very clear view to hold Pakistan uh, and China accountable. So it's not uh, uh, that, you know, from like previous administrations uh, that, you know, it can just uh, go both ways or whatever the Pakistan is doing. Uh, not um, hold them accountable and look the other way. Uh, this president and General Kelly and General Mattis and um, McMaster, all mm -hmm. these people, all the generals and the president, president family, uh, president's closest advisors, uh, Newt Gingrich, uh, you name it, uh, Stephen Mnuchin, uh, everybody there is very much aware uh, that uh, we cannot allow Pakistan to uh, be the safe haven of terrorists. So that's uh, very clear to them, and they're holding their feet to the fire. No, that's absolutely true. That's exactly the sentiment which Donald Trump has also echoed. And also, Sharab Kumar, considering that you've been working very closely with the White House and considering the fact that Ivanka Trump will be coming to India later this year, talk to us a little about the preparations that, that you've been up to for this upcoming visit to Hyderabad for this entrepreneurship summit. The Trump family, Ivanka, Jared, they're all very excited about uh, the upcoming trip looking forward to it and uh, this is just another step in uh, line with uh, uh, the deepening relationship between United States and India and uh, uh, US uh, is beginning to see uh, India as a strategic ally and in, in the region in the whole Southeast Asia uh, South Asia Southeast Asia uh, the whole region uh, they view uh, India as a very strategic ally and this is a step forward uh, in that direction uh, to just uh, have people-to-people uh, -people contact. As you know, that she is a senior advisor, uh, besides being first daughter, senior advisor to the uh, uh, to the president. And uh, if there's somebody um, President uh, Trump listens to, <laughs> yeah, besides Manasvi, is uh, is uh, Ivanka. Ivanka. Yeah. So that's a good. Uh, um, uh, good uh, gesture on Prime Minister Modi's part to invite uh, her and her to accept it. And also it's her favorite subject, uh, women empowerment. Absolutely indeed. Thank you very much indeed, Sharab Kumar, and also to Manaswi for taking time out and speaking to Vyond about your uh, various activities where you've been working very closely with the Trump administration and also for this very fantastic interaction that you've had with Donald Trump. We'll be, of course, looking forward to having you in India during Ivanka's visit to India as well.